everyone how are you all it has been a hot min i was away last week filming for made in chelsea but i'm back now this video can be a zara haul because i haven't done one of these in so long and every time i do them you guys love them so i thought I went into Zara the other day, and I feel like Zara is so hit and miss, isn't it? You go in, and you either see so much that you like, or you go in and you're like, no, 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 this is terrible. So I actually went into the one in Battersea Power Station, and it was amazing. So I was like, right, I need to get a Zara haul out there, because you guys need to do some damage. Because it's really doing bits at the moment, Zara. I'm absolutely feeling it. Yeah, grab yourselves a coffee, a tea, a glass of wine, whatever it may be. And yeah, join me for a little Zara haul. This is actually kind of like my favourite time of year to shop. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I personally think that spring is such a good purchasing time. It's a period of time where I'm just getting excited for summer and my summer plans. So it gets me excited being around March, April, May. It's, it's great shopping times. And also just... I'm so excited just to be able to go outside the house and not have a massive jacket on. Don't get me wrong, love a winter wardrobe. But I'm bored of it now. Like, comment below if you agree. I'm over wearing loads of layers. I'm over grey skies. I am I need short sleeve. I need a bit of warmth. And I want, it, I want it to be like blazer season, you know. You know when you wear like just a blazer out and not be freezing not before though we better have a little catch up just because it has been a while since i kind of came on here and had a chat but i have been so busy filming main chelsea and that actually comes out because a few people have asked me when it's coming out the new series is out on the 8th of april so we've not got long and yeah that's exciting i know i have said that i wasn't going to do it and kind of i'm like backing away from it but i actually really enjoyed filming this series i feel like i don't know i just I was quite involved and I don't know how. So yeah, even though I said I was kind of moving away and doing other things, which I guess I am doing a lot of other things, I'm kind of also doing that as well. So it's been, it's been a busy period, but you know what I'm like, I always go on about how I love being busy. So there we are. We have also last week recently launched our new bikini Bible range, which is, oh my God, if you want to get excited for summer, I'll see if I can pop a little code on here as well for you all, um, a little, youtube discount code because you guys you're my favorites Shh. so i feel like i should give you a little exclusive code for on here because i love you guys so yeah we launched that which i i know i do say this every time but i think it is my favorite it's my favorite collection that we've done um it was shot in mexico there's been a lot of hard work into all the fits of the bikinis and the swimming costumes. They've all been now properly fitted. Well, they were before, but they've we've tweaked a few things and we've changed a few of the sizes. And yeah, it's it's really good. My business partner, Lauren, has worked so hard on the designs and kind of organising everything. And yeah, I'm re we're very proud. It's, it's a monumental year i think for bikini bible i think it's really kind of like it's been going now for a couple of years and it's growing really well each year so hard work pays off gang and it's just very exciting times for bikini bible as well me and mom have been busy filming our podcast together which if you haven't already listened oh my god i'd love to hear your thoughts if you have already listened and what you think we have just finished season two hoping to do season three um we just have so much fun doing it to be honest it's just one of those things where not only do I get to hang out with my mom a bit more, but like it's it is just like we have a little general chit chat and we can just talk for England and she's just she's not a regular mum, let's be honest. Yeah, busy times. We've now finished the podcast. Um I'm now I'm nearly finishing filming Maiden Chelsea, so I'm kind of concentrating now on the other bits. Uh, which is quite exciting and that is why I love doing what I do because every year it all changes like in different type times of in different parts of the year I do different things so I'm very lucky I'm feeling grateful today I'm in a brilliant mood and I'm not really sure why I ramble on in this intro too much more and I feel like we should get to the Zara haul right I'm taking you upstairs to do this haul because I feel like it's a lot easier doing upstairs damage is in there 
I also went and Massimo Dutti, right? You can tell I'm getting older and I'm getting in my mature girl era because I'm shopping in here and I used to think this place was literally for like mums, frumpy mums, but I'm loving it. I must be getting old. I must be getting mature and old and wanting to become classy because I bought some things in here and I really like them. So I'll also show you what I got in there as well. Guys, do you ever think this? I was like, wait, what? I'm 28? No, 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 no. How could that happen? I was 26 two hours ago. I can't be 28 now, which means I'm 29 this year, which means I'm 30 next year. I'm 30 years old next year. I thought by now I would have 12 illegitimate kids. I'm kidding. No, I didn't. Not 12. But I did think, oh, like, yeah, I'll be married, like, with at least two babies right now. What the fuck? That's, like, no, no. Time just is flying. I've blinked and I am goddamn 28. I can't believe I'm on main Chelsea. I was always the youngest, the young girl. No, 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 I am the oldest and I think I am, at the moment, the person who's been on it the longest. Am I, should, should I be ashamed? Or should I be proud? It's mixed emotions for me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Another thing, right? This is so random and off topic, but... <laughs> I walked, I walk Jordan to the station every day, honestly, like I'm dropping off my kid to school. But it's just so I get my steps in and we just walk to the station together because it means I'm up, I'm out, get my steps in. Anyway, it started raining and I didn't have an umbrella. And then I ducked and I, and I thought, hang on, you know when like you don't have an umbrella and you're always ducking like this? Why do we do that? Because I thought, why, why am I ducking? Like as if like the rain isn't still going to hit me. What, please explain, or someone comment below, why we do that as human beings. We walk, but like when it's raining, I'm like this, as if like the rain's not gonna get me. Anyway, right, I'm chatting absolute. Now, let's get to this haul. Okay, so these clothes aren't all for summer holidays or anything, it's a bit of a mix. It's just kind of more like a change in season wardrobe refresh because a lot of my stuff's very dark at the moment a lot of blacks a lot of dark grays we just need to lighten it up slightly so first of all i got this jacket which is like a quilted one i've kind of got one similar in dark in dark gray but i thought this is more of a springy kind of summery color it's in a size small just because i like having these jackets kind of oversized slightly and there is no tag on it did i pay for this because it hasn't got i may have accidentally no i didn't Shh, i don't think i did must be on this barcode thing did i still no you know those I need to check because this hasn't got a thingy on it. This hasn't got a tag on it. Zara, they have the self checkout, the self checkout thing where you put all your clothes in the little thing and it scans them all. Surely I, I did pay for it. Let me just check because I'm panicking now. Am I a thief? No, I'm not. Oh, thank God, I've paid for it. It's called the wind jacket. And it's $69.99. Okay, well, I thought I thought I got freebie then, but I didn't. This is the jacket on, which I absolutely love. I'm glad that I did size up in this and get the smaller, not the extra small, just because I do like it a bit baggy. Just paired it with my cream. If you don't have these shoes, I will link them as well below. These shoes are the best shoes ever. I've just paired them with these cool Samba trainers. Um, Adidas Samba trainers. I love how I'm sounding like this. They are so good. I'm, I've literally got about four pairs of them now. I love them. I just all I ever wear. And yeah, it goes it goes perfectly with this. Um, I also well, I have just been wearing these trousers the whole time, which is Zara as well. I got them quite a while ago, but they have exactly the same pairs still in there with these like little. I don't know. What, I don't know what that is. I very much like this jacket. I feel like it just. It works. It works. 
Okay, the next thing I picked up, which I don't know if I'm gonna like, is this little waistcoat situation. I just thought with blue jeans, this would look really nice with a tan. And yeah, I got this in a size extra small and it was 25, 25, 95. Um, but I just like the colour of it and I just thought it looked quite smart. You can wear it as like a smart thing in the day or either in the evening for a little date night situation. What do we reckon? I really like the colour. I don't actually have anything in this colour. I've just paired that with these Zara jeans that I also got quite a long time ago but I do wear them an awful lot. They probably still have them in there because I feel like they don't really change their jeans too much. What do you think? I'm, the next things I've got, I'm just not sure if I'm going to... It's one of those things that you buy and then you never wear because I'm scared I'm going to look like I'm out in my pyjamas. But I'm thinking... So, so it is this two set, which are... These are the trousers. They're like a silky material. And they've got these green flowers on. They've got a matching shirt to go with it. My thought process was... This open shirt, really nice white tank top underneath, with these for like an evening in like the summer. A nice summery evening when you're on holiday. I don't know what it's going to look like or if I'm going to feel like I'm in my pyjamas, which I can't stand feeling like I'm going out in my in like pyjamas. Um, so I'm going to try this and see what I think. I might take it back if I do think that because I probably won't end up wearing it. The shirt was, I got it an extra small and it was 39 99 and the trousers are in an extra small and they were 35 99 Okay, this is the little set on. Again, like such a good little holiday evening outfit. In Europe and you're going away around April, May time, it still gets chilly in the evening. I did think maybe I wouldn't wear it because it looks too much like pyjamas. But I think when you kind of like dress it up, it doesn't. And it does look more like a two-piece. I mean, it needs an iron. Do excuse the fact that I haven't steamed any of it. Very lazy of me. Okay, at the moment, Zara are doing bits with their jewellery. I Their costume jewellery, I really like. I got this necklace because I thought this with like crochet kind of resort wear or even with bikinis to kind of dress up would look really cool for any trips I've got planned this summer um, and I've got quite a few good ones so I thought this would look really nice this was $17.99 and then I also got this again I'm thinking daytime bikini crochet kind of like overwear or even shirt trousers whatever um resort wear with this would look really cool this is again 17.99 i also want to get the starfish earrings comment below if you if you've seen them around and you know where to get these but in earring form let me know okay up next is just the standard little white dress it's kind of cute i'm thinking for a tan with a tan it will look nice um i'm hoping it will fit me okay i got this in a small um, and it was £35.99. As you can see, it's got like little pleats here and this kind of detail at the front where it like clips. Almost corsety. Um, so I'm hoping this will look cute. I just thought these are just so handy, aren't they, for when the weather gets warm with a pair of cowboy boots and a nice oversized jacket. It can look quite cool with a nice pair of sunglasses. Okay, this is the little white dress on which i do like i'm going to pair them with these you can pair them with cowboy boots as well which i think would look really cool however mine aren't mine are in the car the boot of the car for some weird reason so i'm going to pair them with these instead which are these little uh, fairfax of favor cute little loafs and just these sunnies which i got years ago this dress would be cute i really like it but i think i do i think i need an extra small i think i got a small I got a small and I think I need an extra small just so it's a bit more fitted here because it's a tiny bit loose here and it doesn't do me too many favours. So if it was a bit more fitted, I think this could be a really nice summer dress. I'll probably go for something like this to style it with bag wise. I am going to swap it for a extra small. Influenced by this two piece, I've seen it on a few people and I thought, I'm gonna get it again i'm unsure if it's gonna look like pajamas but i thought i'd try it on these striped 
trousers and they're kind of like a bit crinkly can you see that a crinkled creased look to them they are actually meant to look like pajama pajama shorts i think but this matching top i thought was really cool and i i just feel like this this with some sandals pair of really cool sunglasses nice beach bag could be a vibe the top I got in an extra small, $25.99, and the bottoms I got in a small, because they didn't have an extra small, these are $29.99. What do we think of this? I do like this. They are a bit see-through at the back. They're not the most, they don't have the most coverage on the bar, but I think these tops suit people with, like, really small boobs, because when you have bigger boobs, it brings the top out. Do you know what I mean? Like, it brings it out a bit. Not that I've got big huge boobs but it does bring it out which i don't know how flattering that then becomes i don't know i'm not sure on this what do we up next this is just again a little wardrobe brightener do i need this next item absolutely not i have two wardrobes filled with the same thing am i still gonna buy it and keep it and probably wear it twice yes you heard it here first do i probably think this is why i'm not on the property ladder yet absolutely will i continue doing this correct so here we are with another jumper this time it's blue <laughs> and i just think you know what blue if you've got blue eyes with brown hair this is it it does enhance a few things matches the eyes so it makes them pop i got this in a small because these sort of jumpers i do like to have a bit baggy they're those throw on jumpers when you cannot be bothered to think Anyway, this was $29.99. I just really like the colour. It's just a comfy, easy, it's an easy thing. You just throw it on. Throw it on, one of those ones. Last thing I got from Zara are these sandals. I don't know what these are going to look like. I don't even know if I picked them up in the right size. Because please let me know if you get confused as hell what 37 36 38 37.5 means i i'm a four i'm a size four what is that i just picked them up and i was like i'm pretty sure it's 37 but god knows uh they look quite small let's give them a crack do you ever get confused by the sizes because i do i'm not very good with things like that that's why like my dyslexic brain just can't compute and i can't remember moving on to massimo duty i got three tops again do I need them? No. Do we need anything that we buy? Probably not. Okay, first one. How lovely is this? I just thought... I'm feeling it. Mature vibes. Was $29.95. I thought that Massimo Duty was really expensive. I actually am quite impressed with how well priced it is top i just think is really easy it's one of those ones that you can wear with anything go with anything i've just paired it with these zara trousers which i got ages ago but they do still again sell these exact same kind of like linen-y flowy ones you know why i started shopping in massimo duty because i was going to jamie and sophie's wedding and i had no outfit to wear i was like oh my god what am i gonna wear i ordered this dress got this dress altered and i was like why am i wearing this dress it's terrible anyway rushed on i was running around the king's road and i was like, i need to find an outfit i had a day to find an outfit and it was about a day before i flew went into massimo duty and i was like this is rogue never been in here in my life but it could work let's go with it and i saw this dress and i was like oh my god this will be perfect and it was I think it was 125 pounds and it was the blue one i'll probably i'll insert a picture here don't know if you saw the photos from the wedding but it was amazing and i got so many compliments on it and i was so happy because it wasn't ridiculously overpriced it wasn't some big designer name and it just it did the job and no one else was wearing it because i always had the fear that you're going to turn up to a wedding and someone's wearing the same outfit as you, especially when you're getting it from somewhere like Massimo Duty where you, a lot of people shop. So I was panicking about that, but anyway, it all worked out in the end, and now I'm now I'm a big fan. Um, so moving on from that really uninteresting story, I got this, I'm loving, I love an old off the shoulder situation, always have, always will, and these are just handy. Again, they can go with white linen shorts when I'm on holiday, um, and yeah or even jeans when I'm here, whatever. I was like, these are just handy tops, I need them both. And this was 35.95, I got this in extra small, all of these are in an extra small, by the way, I feel like I'm talking really fast, day. 
I need to breathe. It's because I get overexcited. I do really like this. I would probably just pair them with these, which I also got from And Other Stories last year, and I wear them all the time. And also this navy blue one. Again, I was thinking white linen shorts or any of my linen shorts that I've got. This is the navy blue one, which I actually think I prefer. I've paired that with these also, these other linen shorts, which I've got in, a dark, in this beige colour from And Other Stories as well. Um, but I do think I do prefer the darker colour. What do you guys reckon? I would also probably wear this in London as well with a nice pair of jeans and some cool trainers. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed this quick little try on such haul with me. We'll link everything below as said. And yes, I will see you guys very soon. Lots of love.